Great. Now what? Lock date 76052. Lazuli keeps getting on my nerves. Yeah! Lock date 76052. Lazuli keeps getting on my nerves. Paradox? What did Lock I do? This is why you've been acting weird all day? Did something happen when you came to get me? And I can't understand why you're not telling me. It, it's nothing. Leave me alone. If it's nothing, why won't you even look at me? <gasps> yeah. mm. By the looks of it, I'd guess this rings a bell. Lazuli? You okay? You... Back then, you pulled away. A and I heard on your recorder, I was getting on your nerves. If I really was... What? Why did you do it now? Um, well... Y you see, I, I wanted you to remember. Y you weren't yourself, though, so I didn't know how else to- Peridot, I- I gotta check something. So bear with me, okay? What are you do- mm -hmm. <laughs> That's odd. There it is. The same weird throbbing in my chest. I thought it was from that liquid I drank, as well as the stomach pain. Do you have it too? Peridot? Hey guys! Look who I found! They were together in the temple! Peridot suddenly felt nauseous, so Lapis took her inside. Good thing she's been there to help you out! Lapis. I hope you're feeling better too. Yeah, sort of. Hmm. Yes, we're all feeling great. Can I now get back to work? Nausea, you Perry? <laughs> Did Lapis give you a taste of the good stuff? Shut up, Amethyst. Hey, Lapis, can you help her out? We really need you for this one. What? Yeah, sure. Okay, so we're going to get more car parts since Jasper is still missing. Are you two going to be okay on your own? Yeah. yeah. Ahem. So, there's this little part left I have to wield, but it's a tough spot. That's where you come in. First, I need you... Uh, uh why are you looking at me like this? How long are you going to keep this up? You haven't said a word since you woke up. We need to talk about what happened. Fine. Let's talk. First, you get totally wasted by an unknown substance. Second, you manage to catch me off guard and do something against my will. Third, you kept nagging me even though I told you to go away. Fourth, you couldn't even remember what you've done. Until I... <sighs> well then, I said enough. Let's put an end to this conversation now. Peridot, did you like it? Does it matter? What? Of course it matters. I... Oh, please. Don't pretend to care. You didn't even know something happened in the first place. This is why you're still mad? I know I was intoxicated. I am mad because you are so damn unpredictable. And it drives me insane. You are so distant to everyone here. You are cold and isolated. Then out of nowhere, you kiss me and make me walk on thin ice around you. And to <laughs> make things even better, you kiss me again, only to make sure your body functions properly. Peridot, I... What? Are you sorry? But of course you are! You didn't want any of this to happen now, did you? 
You wouldn't want to have anything to do with this planet, the crystal gems, let alone me. Did I like it? Of course I did. Because for a second, I thought it might mean something. That you might care about someone other than yourself. I'm sorry you ended up on this planet, in this barn, having this conversation with me. <sighs> now you've heard what you needed. I'd like you to leave me alone. You should probably listen to her, too. How long was I out? <laughs> Cut it out, Amethyst! Shh! Guys, I told you we shouldn't eavesdrop. Should we do something, Garnet? Sorry, Steven. I'll leave you be. Jasper? I don't think I want to get involved in the drama, unlike others. If you need me, I'll be around town looking for scrap. Are you sure you'd be okay on your own? Chill, Garnet. It won't be anything I haven't dealt with before. Sulking on the shore is way too obvious. I'm not in the mood, Jasper. Have you ever been in the mood? Do you mind? Would it matter? Of course not. Want some? Wanted to see what the fuss is about. No? Didn't think so. What do you want? Oh, I came to admire what the twerp has done to you. Oh, this tastes horrible. She hasn't done anything. She hasn't? And yet here you are. An emotionless wreck. Uh, what do you know? Enough to know that standing speechless isn't really your thing. Lapis, look at me. I'm actually in love with you, but I'm such a tactical maniac with a control complex that I forgot how to handle my emotions. When all I actually want for us is to be together and make out again. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you all flustered. Oh, she really got under your skin. I'll stop! I'll stop! <laughs> For real, though, this isn't really your thing. What is? Standing like a log while the twerp was barking all over you? She had every right. Everything she said was true. I suppose. I mean, I don't know what exactly happened. But for you just to stand and take the hits like that? You must have messed up real bad. So, what now? I... don't really know. I guess you're left with one option. Tell her you love her. <gasps> what?! Did I use the right word? No! Oh, sorry then. Uh, what was with that? Your current look resembles the one you had when you realized Homeworld is not what it used to be. Um... I just thought that for whatever reason, the little gremlin reminds you of when Homeworld was different. Ever since we got the chance to redeem ourselves, I've seen you most at ease around her. Sure, she's not as threatening as the rest of us, but you seem to feel home around her. And you did love your home. 